Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Mad TV. Today, we like to share how to form regression line for two-factor multiple regression and determine its R square using calculator. Let's start with the coefficient, which means that we need to determine all this sum of squares. Recall the formulas. I will first press on mode 3 for statistic, choose 2 for linear regression. I will first let x1 be x. Enter all the values. We have 5 equal 8, 11, 19, 25, and 52. Next, move to the first row of column y. Now, enter all the y values. We have 4 equal 22, 15, 81, 143, and 252. Now, press on AC, Shift 1, and we have to obtain the summation. Select 3. Check the components that we need. We need summation x squared, that is 1. Press on equal and put the value here. Shift 1 again, summation, obtain summation x, that is 2. Press on equal and bring the value here. Continue with Shift 1. Summation, we need summation y square. Select 3, equal, and put it here. Shift 1, 3. This time, let's select 4 for summation y equal, and put it here. Next, we have shift 1, summation. This time, we need 5 for summation xy. Press on equal, and put it here. Next, shift 1, but this time, we should look for variation 4. Since we have to determine the constant for the regression line, which means that we need the mean value for the variable y. Select 5, press equal, and put it here. Also, shift 1, 4 to obtain the mean for the variable x, that is 2. Press equal and put it here. Don't forget, we need the n values. Also, shift 1, 4, 1 to obtain n. Press equal and substitute correctly. Next, let's obtain the variance for the variables x1 and y. Shift 1, 4 for variation. Select sigma x that is 3. This is for standard deviation, but what we need is variance, which means that we have to take a square and we should multiply 6. Since we have 6 values for this variable, press on equal and we should obtain the sum of squares. Repeat the same step for variable y. Also, shift 1, variation, look for sigma y, that is 6. Take a square to make it variance and we have to multiply 6. Since we have 6 values, press on equal and put it here. Next, I'm going to let x2 be x. Press on shift 1, select 2 to edit the data. Change all the x values by replacing using the values for variable x2. We have 30 equal, 32 equal, 24, 18, 12, and 7. Press on AC. Repeat the same step to obtain all the summations. Shift 1, 3. We need summation x squared, that is 1. Press on equal and put it here. Next, we have shift 1, 3, and we need 2 for summation x. Press on equal and put it here. Shift 1, 3 again, and this time we should look for summation x, y. Equal and put it here. Don't forget, we have to obtain the sum of squares for the variable x2. Also, let's determine its variance. Shift 1, 4, sigma x, that is 3, square, and multiply 6. Press on equal and we should have the correct value. Next, shift 1, 4, again, this time we should obtain the mean value, that is 2. Press on equal and substitute the value over here. Lastly, I'm going to let y be variable x1. Shift 1, select 2 to edit the data. This time, we should replace the values of y. We have 5, 8, 11, 19, 25, 52. Press on AC, Shift 1, 3 for summations, and we only need the summation x, y, that is 5. Press on equal, and we have a value over here. With all these values, 
We can now determine the sum of squares for two variables. I will first clear the calculator. Shift 9, 3 equal to reset the calculator. Press on AC. Let's input according to all these values. We have 18,964 minus, let's take a fraction, 120 multiply 552 down divided by 6. Press on equal. We obtain the correct value. For the second sum of squares, we have 6,900. 962 minus again fraction 123 multiply 552 down divided by 6 press on equal we obtain negative 4354 and the last sum of squares we have 1176 minus fraction 120 multiply 123 down divided by 6 press on equal also a negative value with all this sum of squares, we can now determine the coefficients. Let's substitute the values accordingly. For the sum of squares for the product of x1, y, put it here, x2, y, put it here, x1, x2, put it here, x1, put it here, x2, put it here. Let's input all these values. For coefficient b1, take a fraction, we have 495.5 multiplied. 7924 minus negative 784 multiply negative 4354 down 1500 multiply 4095.5 minus 784 square. Since this is a square, which means that positive or negative is not important. I will simply take a positive value for this case, press on equal, and we obtain the correct value. I'm going to store this value, shift recall, and let's say store to A. Next, let's obtain the coefficient B2 using the same method. And this time, let's store it to B. With the coefficients, we should be able to obtain the constant for the regression line. That is 92 minus alphabet A for B1 multiply 20 minus alphabet B for coefficient Efficient B2 multiply 20.5. Press on equal and we obtain the constant and hence we form the regression line. Next, let's determine the R square. Substitute the value accordingly. B1 put it here. Summation x1y put it here. B2 put it here. Summation x2y put it here. And summation y square. So we should have fraction alphabet A for B1 multiplying 7924 plus alphabet B for B2 multiplying negative 4354 and divided by 42730 price are equal and we obtain correct R squared and hence we done. Okay that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.